Hello, uh, my name is Austin Hall, and I'm one of the adult services librarians here at West Chicago. And I'm here at the library today, uh, taking video of myself for three reasons. Number one, I want to wish everybody watching this a fantastic holiday season, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Two, I want to show everyone how to make festive holiday gift bows using pages from magazines. And three, I want to show people how to gift wrap presents so that they can place those bows on the present. Okay, so here's what we want to do. We want to make these festive gift bows using pages from magazines, right? So the first thing that you want to do is you want to take a page out of a magazine, okay? Now, the pages can be uh, anywhere from 9 to, let's say, 12 inches long. Could be longer, could be a little bit shorter. Really, it's up to you. However, you do want a kind of average sized magazine page here. All right? Okay. So what you want to do is you want to gather your materials together. First, you have your magazine page, right? Now, in order to turn this into a gift bow, you'll need several other items. You will need a ruler, a pair of scissors, a stapler, a stick of glue, a tape dispenser, a pen, and lastly, some gift wrap paper. Alrighty, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do with your magazine page, right, is place it face down on a flat surface. Okay, then what you want to do is you want to take your ruler, right, and you want to mark with your pen every three quarters of an inch or so. You can be kind of flexible with this because what you want to do is you just kind of want to get a generic size there because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting this magazine page into strips. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, let's go over here. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to cut your magazine piece, magazine page, into nine strips, okay? Three of these strips should be the full length of the page of the magazine. Those are these three uh, strips right here. Three more strips should be same length as the page of your magazine, except you want to cut off about an inch from the top, okay? So these three strips should be about an inch shorter than these three strips. Okay. Then you want to cut two more strips of magazine page. However, you want to cut two inches off the top. Okay. So we've got three strips that are the full length, three strips that are the full length minus one inch, and then two strips that are the full length minus two inches. And finally, one strip about three inches long. Okay. All right. So when you cut them, and when you staple them together, finally, they look something like this, okay? These are all of our strips, all together, stapled into miniature bows, all right? We will put these all together into one big gift bow, but first I have to show you how I made these things right here. So we'll come back here. Okay, so how did I make them? This is going to be the hardest part. Uh, I've done this at the library before, and uh, this is the part there where I have trouble, and pretty much everybody who does this has trouble. So this is the hardest part. Once you get over this hurdle, the rest of it should be pretty easy. Okay, so let's take our first strip, okay? What we want to do is we want to give it a loop at the top like that, and secure it with our finger like that, okay? Should be like the kind of ribbon that you see on the back of cars, right? That kind of loop right there. Then you want to take the bottom of the sheet of paper and bring it around like, again, this is hard, like this, so that it meets in the middle and creates sort of a Mobius strip. You've got a loop like that, okay? Make sure it's shaped like that. If, if it's any other shape, this is not going to work. All right, so now that you've got a loop like this, you want to take your paper and staple it right in the middle 
like that, which is again, kind of hard to do, but that's what you want to do with all these strips. Okay, so this is the longest strip. It's going to look like this. We're going to do it again with the one where we took an inch off of the top, right? Loop it around to the top like that. And loop this like that so that it meets in the middle, like so. Okay? This is hard to do, okay? Because it involves flipping around a, a sheet of paper that doesn't seem to want to go the way you want it to go, okay? So be really careful when um, holding these. Okay, so let's just cut out the middleman here and go directly to the bows. So I've got all nine of my pieces here, um, and we're going to construct this into our gift bow. Okay, so this is where the glue comes in because we use our stapler, we use the magazine sheets, we use the scissors, use the uh, the ruler, and now we're going to use the glue. Okay, so what we're going to do. Is we're going to take our first strip should be one of the long ones okay we're going to be going from longest to shortest so we're going to take one of the long ones and right in the middle there where the staple is we're going to take the glue and we're going to spread some glue in there doesn't need much but enough to definitely fasten more paper to this okay so we're going to take another strip that is long and we're going to place it in the middle together like that to form sort of a cross like that Okay, and we're just going to repeat the process over and over again until we don't have any strips left. Okay, and we're kind of gonna we're gonna go around in kind of a spiral shape. And if you've ever seen a magazine gift bow, at this point you should be getting kind of a general idea of what your gift bow is going to look like when it is finished. All right, so we're going to keep gluing our strips into the middle here until the point where we cannot fasten any more strips. And again, it's gonna be looking like this already, right? So we're almost there, okay? A few more strips left to go here. And this is uh, really where I should tell you that you really wanna cut your strip pretty thin because otherwise it's gonna really crowd out um, the rest of your strips when you add them to the bow. Okay, and now finally, we've got our last little strip. Remember that little strip that was about three inches long right here? All right, here's what we want to do with that strip. We want to take that strip, and we want to put some glue right on the edge there at the end. And we want to loop that around so it just forms a basic loop like that. And it's glued with glue at the top like that. Okay, so this is the one I pre-made to go on this bow because it's going to match. So you want to put some glue right in the center there. And at this point, it should be kind of hard to put glue in the center because it's going to be pretty crowded out by all the other pieces. All right. So we're going to take this, place it like that into the center. And voila, we have our festive magazine. Okay. It's going to look a little bit like that. All right. Now, <laughs> That's probably not what you saw earlier when I showed you guys this gift bow, but it's going to be kind of the same principle. It may not look 100% perfect, but it's great. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the next part, which is I'm going to show you guys how to gift wrap presents. Now, you've probably gift wrapped your presents before, but I'm going to show you a different way to do this. So we're going to come over here. This is the camera, like so. Then we're going to take our gift, all right? Now we're going to have to judge, we're going to have to use our better judgment to find out how to uh, make this so the wrapping paper fits over what we're trying to wrap, okay? Now, there's a bunch of ways we can do this, but what you basically want to do is from each side of the gift, you want to have about twice as much space on the wrapping paper as you do on the gift, okay? So we're going to bring these two sides together, like so, and we have way too much wrapping paper for this gift, right? So, we are going to take 
some of this off the side here. And then we're going to do this. And no, well, that's not working. Uh, then we're going to take some off uh, this side. And uh, oh, oh dear, I cut that wrong. All right, so. Um, Okay, this is what I suggest doing. Instead of wrapping your presents, get yourself some nice gift bags. Like for instance, this one right here, West Chicago Public Library. What you can do then is, let's say, say you have a gift of unusual size, right? Earlier we tried to wrap a book, because this is a library and we have a lot of books here. So let's say you had an item like this. Not shaped like a book, not something you can lay flat, it's not a box, right? You just take your bag, Place the gift in the bag, and then, and by means of tape, you loop the tape around like so. You place it on the back of your gift, though, like so, and then you merely attach it to said gift bag. And voila, you have a nice festive present for people, okay? Now, I know that I gave up in frustration, uh, and I didn't actually wrap that gift, but we're going to go back, and just to be serious for a second, we're going to try to wrap this using any method we deem possible at this point, okay? Take a book. Very good. All right. Pass the wrapping paper over the book like so. Then we're going to take some tape. Sensor right here, and we're going to fasten that side like that to so cover the book that we have. And we're lucky that we're wrapping a book because, like I said, some items are very unusually sized, and doing this sort of thing might not work. All right, so here at the other end, right? I have all this space at the other end. This is where this is the edge of my book right here. This flap right here, which you lay flat. But then, you want to fold it in like you fold the nose of a paper airplane, right? So we want to fold it in so it forms a triangle at the end, right? Lift that up so you can see it. Okay. So, at this point, we've got the nose of our airplane right here, and we want to fold that in as well. So you want to fold that in all the way to the edge of the book, so that your flap here is fairly flat, right? And now all you have to do is just fold it like so onto the top surface of your gift wrap. Like that. And then use tape to affix it like so to your package. Now we can do the same thing on the other end here. Alright. Fold this up and uh oh, there's not enough space to make an airplane. That is okay. That is perfectly fine. We're just going to fold this flap up like that. We're going to take some tape, all right, and we have just fastened tape to our gift, and our gift is now wrapped, ready to go, and I will take the gift, though, from the bag that we have, and I'll place it right here. So now we have a present and a gift, though. Both of these items, uh, I didn't make myself, I just made the gift, though, obviously. The wrapping paper I had to buy. I didn't buy the library, bought it. But, with these items, you can present your friends and family with beautiful gifts this holiday season, using the lessons I gave to you here. So, in closing, again, I just want to wish everybody a great holiday season, and hope to see you in the library soon. Have a great day.